Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Timothy Carter. Thanks for joining me on the podcast today. We're going to talk about SEO strategies to abandon. If you're going to survive in the radically changing landscape of, of link building and SEO, both in response to massive updates that come, uh, regular core updates, and, and in anticipation of the updates to come in the future, you'll definitely need to do some tweaking to maybe your existing set of strategies. Notably, you know, there are three popular strategies you may want to uh, part with as soon as possible. Number one is, is a keyword-based optimization. You know, most optimizers already have a shaky, you know, love-hate relationship with keywords. They love it when they can dominate the rank for a given keyword phrase, but they hate the futility of chasing after those high competition phrases. Still, uh, up until the, the last couple of years, you know, most SEOs, you know, believe that their their keywords would always be, you know, one of the most important components of an SEO strategy. After all, you know, you can't perform a search without keywords and, and you can't rank unless you're ranking for a specifically entered phrase, right? Well, you know, in the, the trend of that sophistication of, of Google's algorithms, you know, and their core updates, you know, it's always been about providing, you know, the best result what is the intent that the user is typing into or speaking into the search and asking that question you know so that algorithmic process you know supersedes you know that traditional keyword based approach you know that semantic search you know back in the older days you know you could simply be, you know, a search query could be disassembled into its keywords and, and phrase components in order to, to find those, you know, key components as they are read word for word on the, re the web, you know. Semantic search offered that more complex and more precise method methodology, you know, for uh, a search result. You know, user queries were analyzed in terms of their intent rather than you know the exact content so google's algorithm scours the web interpreting the function of different websites to find you know that's that's the most appropriate results you know rather than finding the most mathematically correct one or matching uh phrase you know result so you know since you know the shift towards you know semantic search over the years and is going to continue to grow with you know the artificial intelligence you know, that is going to make, uh, you know, traditional based keyword optimization strategies, you know, almost obsolete. You know, the process of writing title tags and, and meta tags, you know, with carefully selected keywords and, and stuffing your articles full of the just right number of keyword phrases you want to optimize is, is already dying or if not dead already, you know, it'll be long gone in, in the years ahead. You know, instead of focusing on, you know, the keyword based phrase optimization strategy, you know, shift your focus to, you know, keyword research, the topics, you know, use your research to find out what topics, you know, people are, are talking about or asking about and, and what topics your audience might be interested in, in reading or, or seeing, you know, write articles, create videos, you know, infographics about those topics and, and be, be as detailed as possible, you know, that so Google's, you know, bots can, can learn the purpose of your article and fetch it for the appropriate inbound queries. You know, your goal here is to present your company and your content as accurately and as detailed as possible without obviously getting lost in a strategy that's too focused on keyword inclusion. Uh, number two, let's 
you don't want a general or or overview content you know you want to abandon any any tenets of your content strategy that focuses on providing general information on broad topics or overviews on subjects that have existed for years you know instead you'll want to focus on niche topics and highly specific topics that people will want to read about or see or hear particularly if you are you know hiring a, a blog writing service or a video production company or an infographic design company you know and there, there are several reasons for this you know the first reason is is likely uh, obvious you know the internet has been around for a long time and people have been writing material on general topics for just as long there are hundreds if not thousands or tens of thousands of sites who've covered your topic of choice in far greater detail and they likely carry more authority than your site uh, possibly could you know it's an unfortunate fact in the SEO world but for some highly generalized topics the competition is simply too dense to challenge you know the second reason is attributable to you know uh, budding Google product you know like the knowledge graph you know um, you know, in an effort to improve the ease and convenience of finding information online, you know, Google, you know, is forgoing that old process of, of performing a search, you know, to find a site that can provide, you know, information in favor of providing that information directly. You know, you know, the company is doing this by providing a, a helpful summary of, of certain broad topics, such as, you know, people, places and things in a box to the right of the screen for, for certain queries, if you've noticed. You know, that knowledge graph advanced significantly, you know, and expected to continue to be refined for years to come and provide knowledge right there on, on Google's page. You know, and because of this, even if you do somehow manage to rank for a, a generalized topic, you still might get significantly less traffic because users are getting their answers immediately uh, on, the, on that search result on Google's page. You know, so as a result, your your best bet is to write content that's, you know, as specialized and focused as possible, you know, such as advanced how to topics or, or focused opinion articles. You know, these types of content will have a, a lower search volume, obviously, but you'll also have a much easier time getting visibility for them. And the novel, the knowledge graph can't threaten to steal away any of your traffic either because they are lower search results. And you get more of those topics and start ranking higher for those phrases, you end up uh, getting more traffic than trying to rank for a generalized topic. Uh, third, direct link building. You know, stick with me on this. You know, obviously Google still uses external links as a, a major indicator of, of web authority. It's one of these services we offer. And link building itself is still a rev relevant service to hire. But the process of manually going out solely to build links pointing back to your site is not just outdated. You know, it's, it's potentially dangerous, you know, thanks to, you know, those penguin updates uh, that are, are algorithmically built in, baked into Google's algorithms and can detect that manipulative link building in, in a lot more sophisticated ways than, than ever. And we may be seeing that in uh, future updates as well. You know, so instead of trying to weasel your way into to conversations or systematically meet link quantity quotas on external sites, you know, accept a more natural approach. Your first key is to start generating the types of content that tend to naturally attract hundreds, if not thousands of links all on their own. These pieces like white papers, you know, infographics and entertaining videos that can virally spread on their own, you know, giving you a bit of upfront work, but automatic benefits as soon as they're syndicated. You know, these these links are all natural and Google can't possibly touch you for getting them. Beyond that, use more natural means of attracting and supplying links to your site. You know, link building should no longer be your main priority in any action. You know, for example, um, you, you can post uh, an external guest blog post uh, with a link pointing back to your site. The main goal here is getting an additional brand exposure and an authority building, not providing a link. Or you can provide advice to a requester in a forum and provide a link that's genuinely valuable. You know, here your main goal is helping someone out, not simply throwing your link into the mix. 
opportunities for link building should be circumstantial. You know, any links determined to be built with the sole intention of increasing rank, you know, could earn you a penalty. The fundamental basis of, of quality SEO is still the same as it's always been. The sites that provide the best user experience will always rank towards the top. What constitutes a great user experience and, and what Google is able to analyze are the elements that are always changing. You know, if you can provide your users an ideal experience and offer them the information they seek, you should have no trouble achieving visibility through search. Keep in mind as you refine your strategies for the coming years ahead, quality content that answers your ideal client's questions in those search results. And that's it for today's episode. So if you want to improve your, your site's organic visibility, you know, come on over to seo.co and, and schedule a time to have a free consultation. Learn how we can help you scale your ability to outright and outrank your competition. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.